What's not to like about an LED bulb that is bright and power efficient, especially when they are this cheap? Guys, presenting the Philips Ace Saver, the model that I brought is 10 watts, although these bulbs are available in a variety of wattages. All the links are provided in the description below. So the box design is pretty nominal. You can see this is the latest batch 2024. You can pause the video and take a good look at all of these specifications. So this is the efficiency sticker. I'm not going to waste your time by reading each and every of this specification. Today's video is going to specially focus on two different things. One is this eye comfort technology and the other is this neutral white or natural white color which is 4000 Kelvins. So make sure to watch the complete video so that you can learn about the discussion on these particular terms. Let's unbox the bulb. And the design of this LED bulb is pretty typical. It's like your usual LED bulbs that you get in the market. And one thing that I immediately noticed about this particular bulb when I took it in my hand is that how light it is. Okay. I have been a Philips user since a very long time and I compared this LED bulb with my somewhere around 10 year old Philips LED bulb. And this new design of LED bulbs is almost a quarter of the weight when compared to the old LED bulb. Guys, what used to happen is that the older LED bulbs used to have a separate driver inside which used to power an MC PCB board. Now this MC PCB board used to contain a variety of LED chips. But what is happening is, is that due to cost cutting and due to the reduction in price which has happened with these new LED bulbs, a lot of brands have started moving on to DOB that is driver onboard technology which has made these bulbs very light. Now has Philips to move on to an DOB design? Well, for that you will have to wait for my teardown and what is inside video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you can get to see that video right away as soon as it is launched. Alright, so the bulb is plugged into its socket and it is connected to this trusty Meko watt meter to help measure its wattages. So I am going to turn it on something like this. And one thing that I immediately liked about this particular bulb is that how bright it is. The brightness is truly impressive. Let's take a look at numerical values and this bulb, although it is advertised as 10 watts, as you can see the package mentions 10 watts right over here. The actual power consumption is somewhere around 8.8. .8. You can say a little below 9 watts. Let's take a look at other parameters on this trusty Meko watt meter. So the frequency at my house is correct. You can say 49.97 that is almost perfect 50 Hertz, which is the standard frequency in India. The voltage is 216 volts. The milliampere consumption is 41 and the power factor of this bulb is pretty good. It's almost you can say unity that is 0 0.99 or 0 0.97. And now we are back again in this wattage value. Guys, be it this kind of nice little power meters or be it different varieties of LED bulb itself. The affiliate buying links for all of this uh, gadget is available for you in the video description or in the first comment. Please use those affiliate links to support my channel. Guys, let me take a minute to explain the correlated color temperature or CCT and what is the big fuss about natural white or neutral white color temperature which is 4000 Kelvin. Guys, the usual LED bulb that you find in India, which is literally just flooded everywhere in the stores is cool white or color temperature of 6500 Kelvin. Now this kind of 6500 Kelvin light is akin to moonlight. It's very bluish and very harsh. I find this kind of light very glaring and I don't like 6500 Kelvin bulbs at all. Then we have at the opposite end of spectrum that is warm white or 3000 Kelvins. Now, while these bulbs look very good, they are decorative, but I found that the color output is really very, very yellow. So my priority is something in between, which is known as natural white or neutral white with a color temperature of 4000 Kelvins. Guys, the sunlight that we get in India is somewhere between 4000 to 5000 Kelvins, depending on the time of day and the weather. So these kind of LED bulbs should preferably provide very good high quality sun-like light output which is the best uh, light i feel for our eyes because our eyes are optimized to work in sunlight and this is the big fuss about neutral white color temperature which i really really like 
Guys, welcome to the Flickr test and let me start this test with a warning. So if you guys have problem with flickering images or flashing images, I'll request that you guys directly skip this chapter. The chapters are available in the video description. You guys can directly jump on the conclusion part using those chapters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Samsung cell phone, which comes with a slow motion feature. So here is the slow mo and let me turn on the bulb. And oh my God, there's a huge amount of flicker in this LED bulb. Okay, so you can see this. There's a crazy amount of flicker which I can see on my cell phone. And guys, unfortunately, you don't even need a slow motion camera. I can directly see the flicker with my bare eyes. So if you move your hand something like this, you can see the flicker. You don't even need a camera. You don't even need a slow motion equipment to check this out. The flicker is directly visible. And to confirm this kind of phenomenon, what I did is I went around my house and try, tried using this LED bulb in a different sockets. So if you are doubting that, well, there could be a problem with your house wiring. Well, no problem. I tried it with different sockets, different holders. I tried it with uh, inverter power supply. I tried it with regular mains power supply. Basically, I tried this particular bulb everywhere imaginable to give it a fair chance and unfortunately guys let me conclude that this bulb comes with really really horrible flickering problems now to compare this uh, led bulb with some of my older lights i compared it with my led panels and my cfls and i recorded a small clip for it i'm going to put the clip right here for you guys so i installed this latest uh, philips a saver led bulb over here in place of my tube light and immediately my eyes noticed that there is something wrong with this bulb yes guys let me give you a flicker warning and as i focus on this bulb you can see that this bulb comes with a really horrible flicker okay and i'll quickly compare it with this uh, cree led square panel i have upgraded these panels to very high quality cree chips and the particular video is available over here in the i button or in the description so let me turn uh, both of them on and then we can have a live comparison in this video without any kind of cut so this is the Philips bulb over here and as I click on it and I zoom on it using my camera this is what happens and this flicker is very noticeable with your bare eyes so where you are so when you are moving you are lifting your hands when you are working with any kind of product whenever there is any kind of motion you can definitely notice this flicker and let me uh, do the same thing with this very old square LED panel okay and as I focus on it there's absolutely zero flicker I'm not talking about the focus because yeah the camera ties, tries to clear it but uh, as you can see there's another panel over here and there is absolutely zero flicker with this thing okay see so that's how stable the light output is okay so the camera is trying to you know focus it and make it clear but there is absolutely no flicker and here we come back again to this uh, Philips Ace Saver with so called uh, eye comfort technology or whatever they call it I think uh, eye care technology and this is the you know the live test right here and this flicker is really super annoying. So guys let's conclude today's review and there are two little things that I liked about this particular Philips bulb. One is the brightness yes they are phenomenally bright. The second thing is their price. These bulbs are really very cheap. They are av available somewhere between 125 to 150 rupees, although the price keeps changing. So the latest price is available for you in the description. You can click on those links, check the price and buy them if you like this particular bulb. Now, coming to the part which I did not like, that is high amount of flicker. Now here on the package, one can see that it is mentioned eye comfort technology. I don't understand the meaning of this term when the bulb comes with such high amount of flicker that it's going to irritate you to no ends. All right. And guys, I have a little request for you. If you have a mobile phone which comes with a slow motion camera or if you have some kind of slow motion equipment, please go around your house, check the various kind of LED bulbs that you have and let me know in comment section about the brand model number and wattage of your LED bulbs and also uh, describe if your LED bulbs also have this kind of flickering issue or not. I really want to know because even I went online and I found out that a lot of LED bulbs these days are having this kind of rubbish flickering problem. 
Guys, this channel has tested a lot of uh, LED bulbs. I have even broken them and shown you what's inside and we have discussed on how these LED bulbs work. So if you want to jump on those particular videos, a bunch of video thumbnails will pop up right here on your screen. You can click on them using your finger or using your mouse, jump on those videos and learn something new about LED technology today. That's it for this little video guys. Take care and have a nice day.